Let's talk about the software and the virtual instruments that come with it. There was a little confusion on my part and I talked with the MO Audio and actually they cleared that up for me and I'll share that with you around the virtual instruments. So it is advertised that it comes with seven. And while it does come with seven, four of them are exclusive to the Pro Tools first download. And I think that's an important thing to know uh, because if you're looking for these and you can't find them, they are in the Pro Tools install. So let's switch over to the computer. Let's pull up the software manager and let's take a look at what you're going to see when you download this. If you're looking for help on connecting this to the computer, getting set up, I've got another video I'll put in the description below on that topic specifically. But let's open up the software right here and this is the M Audio Software Manager. And you'll see that we've got three instruments right up here in the top, Hybrid 3, Mini Grand, and Velvet. Now there are four other instruments that it's advertised to come with. And if we go down to the Pro Tools First M Audio Edition and hit the I, you'll see that we've got uh, included with Pro Tools First, uh, you've got Vacuum, which is a synth engine, Boom, which is a drum machine, DB33, which is an organ, a Hammond B3. And then there's Expand 2, which has a wide variety of sound. You can layer four sounds together, and I'll show you that here in a second. So in order to get those, you're gonna have to download and install Pro Tools. Unfortunately, that may disappoint some of you that aren't interested in getting Pro Tools. Uh, for me, I already had Pro Tools, so I already had all of those instruments uh, because they come with the full version of Pro Tools as well. So that being said, we've got the three instruments you can download here that are standalones, they'll work with any DAW. And the instruments that come with Pro Tools first, I haven't actually tried to access those from another DAW. You may be able to, but no promises there. Besides the virtual instruments, the Oxygen Pro comes with MPC Beats, Ableton Live Lite, and then Pro Tools first that you can go and download and get started if you don't have any DAW. I would recommend downloading one of those, get started, start to learn how to use it, how to record. And so you've got those versions there. Down here, we also have the Oxygen Pro Editor, and that's the preset editor that I mentioned earlier. If you don't see those, go to your gear icon and check show advanced software. If you don't see that check mark, just click around, it's there. If I uncheck it, you'll notice it disappears, uh, but there is the little hand that pops up, so I can check it, little bug in the software there. But down here, last thing before I show you the plugins, we've got the MPC sound pack. So if you download MPC Beats, you can download the sound packs as well to play along with those in MPC Beats. So let's jump over to Pro Tools and I actually pre-recorded a little demo and I'll play that for you first and then I'll break down each instrument. So I took all seven virtual instruments that come with a controller, no other effects. I use those plugins completely and so this is what it sounds like. All I did was record this and adjust volume levels. You'll see my levels here. And then uh, because I was messing with this knob, I'm gonna bring that back up and just hit play. All right, so there we go. That's a little demo of the sounds. Again, I used all of the sounds that come with it. And so let's go to Boom first, and I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna solo this track, and I'm gonna open that up and show you this plugin. So you've got preset drum modes here, if I just hit play. And we can cycle between those, different variations, or we can play those with the pads on the controller. So that brings me to this DAW preset button. So while the buttons lit up, we're in DAW mode. And that allows us to control things like the volume levels of our tracks, to use these shortcuts. But if I select this button and now it's not lit up, now we're in preset mode. And I can actually hold down on this button, it says hold to select, hold down on this button, and they've included presets for each one of the virtual instruments 
that come with the controller. So we've got Hybrid, Mini Grand, Velvet, Expand 2, Vacuum, Boom, DV33, and then a bunch of custom presets that we could actually go in and build our own presets for. So if I go over to Boom and push down to Select, now I've got the pads that are lit up in a different way. So the pads over here on the right that are lit up in green trigger some of the drum loops. And then the pads over here to the left, we can actually play the drums ourselves. We can also play them on the keyboard. And we can trigger the sounds, the drum loops from the keyboard as well. But with the preset, they've already assigned the right notes to the pads so that we can use those to play the sounds without needing to know where the sounds are on our keyboard. So if I solo that, That's what I've got recorded there. And then I think those sound pretty good for some electronic drum sounds. You can go in. I won't dive into each of them uh, individually in a lot of detail, but I just wanted to show you these virtual instruments that come with it. So hybrid, this one is a synth engine. Right now I'm using the transition pad. And if I jump over to here and play that for you, I use just a simple arpeggiator on the keyboard. It's just an up arpeggiator, so it just cycles through the notes I played. And then I use the modulation wheel to affect the filter of that sound. Again, I didn't have to do any adjustments, played it right out of the box. And then down here on vacuum, I used vacuum for my bass sound. So I go over here. That's what that virtual instrument looks like. All right, then we've got the mini grand. And what I did on this mini grand is went over here and I turned the ambient up. So it's about two thirds and it's the ambient room effect. So if I close that and I'll just play you what I've got there. All right, now down here with the DB33, this is our Hammond B3. Only thing I did on here was I went over to the cabinet and I cranked up the drive a little bit. And then I just used the modulation wheel to turn the Leslie effect from slow to fast a couple of times. And what we get is something that sounds a bit like this. A little bit of drive to that. Down here in the expand, I decided to go with some strings to round out my sound here. You have a lot of different sounds you can choose from. We can tap and we see you have pads, percussion, leads, uh, a whole variety of just sounds that you can use in your mix. And then I won't go into more detail too much, but you can layer four of them together or you can choose different ones to go on different MIDI channels, and that could work into the splits on the keyboard that I'll talk about in a future video. That one there, we've got just some synth hits that we did. And then I threw on a little bit of reverb on there as well, some lo-fi ping pong. And then down here, our last plugin that comes with the controller is this Velvet. And this is an electric piano plugin. Got that right here. I made no tweaks to that. I played it just as it is. And that sounds like this. And then all together, let's go back and just play this all together. Together, it sounds like this.
right, so I hope that gives you some insight into the instruments and what you can do with them. I didn't dive too deep. Uh, maybe I'll go into some of these plugins in the future and dive into them deeply, but right now we'll stay on a surface level. I just wanted to give you a sample of what you can do, what they sound like, and I was really happy with being able to just throw this demo together uh, in just relatively short amount of time to kind of sample the instruments that come with this. Again, some of the instruments are only with the Pro Tools first download, so keep that in mind. You may want to download that and see if you can use those plugins in another DAW if you're using another DAW as your main DAW.